Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy 1K Stack and I'm back with another video. Today we are going to do another nursing tip video. This is going to be part three of my nursing tips, okay? Uh, I'm not even going to waste any time. I'm going to hop right into it and at the end of the video I will be doing a channel update. Tip number one, knock out your projects and homework as early as possible, okay? Because it will free up uh, your time later so you have more time to study later. And also you won't have anything like piling up towards the end or whenever you, you know, really have need that critical time to study. Like for me, uh, I, we have uh, service learning projects and also like simulation projects that we have to do. And I knock mine out within the first two weeks of like the class because it just makes my life 1000 times easier because I just one less thing I have to worry about. Um, like towards the end of the semester or even when uh, like t uh, exams and stuff are coming up like I already knocked out my stuff so that way like I got all this extra time to study versus like me having to waste time um, you know working on projects that or homework that I really could already had completed very much helpful to knock everything that you need to do like as out as early as possible I promise you. It'll, it'll make your life 100 times easier Tip number two is definitely practice, 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 practice. We sitting here, I supposed to be the franchise player, and we in here talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We talking about practice. Practice, practice, practice. Any and every procedure that you don't feel comfortable with, okay? Because like some procedures, um, or even if it, even if it's just medications, like the more you do it, the more comfortable you'll be, uh, you know, doing said procedure. So definitely continue to practice, 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 and practice. We're not even talking about the game, the actual game, when it matters. We're talking about practice. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, practice, practice, practice. Okay, because. You don't want to go into like your patient's room, up, uh, you know, not confident because you want to be. You don't want to be the person that's in there like, oh, this is my first time doing this. It's like, no, you want to be in there. You want to be like, yo, I've done this like a thousand times. I'm good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, this is just another another procedure. So, definitely, I reiterate, practice any and every procedure like that you can. And even if you don't get a chance to actually do it while you're on your clinical rotation, at least go watch. Like. I've, I've literally watched so many procedures like to the point to where I feel, I feel like if they just uh, let me do it, I'd be like, oh yeah, I definitely got this. So. so another tip is to definitely not just monitor your patient's chart and vitals for like what's wrong with them. Also like play, pay close attention to like how your patient is presenting. Look at how your patient is actually doing so that way you like you're using all of your, your resources as I like to say use all your resources to like make a good assessment of your patient. It took me a while to learn this because like persistent smokers or whatever might have a low SPO2. Uh, so I mean of course you know you do it you doing your uh, pulse ox and you're checking this like in the 80s or 90s, you don't be like, oh my gosh, they're they're literally about to die because they're not getting enough oxygen. Like they'll probably be looking perfectly fine because they're used to it, but you don't want to just like go in there and be like, oh my gosh, you know, get get the oxygen mask just because like their vitals are like you know a little off. So definitely be aware of not just like looking at their vitals or their chart and be like, oh my gosh, you know, like. Take a look at your patient, pay as close attention to like how they're actually responding because they're a person, they're not just some numbers that you see on the chart or on a vital machine, you know what I'm saying? So, Another tip, uh, going back to when I was in my mental health rotation, definitely be aware of your surroundings, be aware of like your patients and other things as well. Because you know, in a mental health um, facility, you know, you never know what uh, you know your patients may be thinking or going through or what they plan on doing so you always want to be very aware of like just things that are going on and be paying a close attention to how your uh, patient may be responding to certain things or like things that may be agitating them 
or just things that uh, could be a danger to not only uh, themselves, but also like the staff and other people on the floor. Uh, for example, when I think it was like our first or second week of mental health rotation, you know, uh, uh, on the, these wards that they aren't allowed to have like sharp objects because they could be like a threat to themselves or to others. So, uh, one of my classmates happened to have a pen that, cause we have to do our paperwork. So all of the students had like pens and stuff on them, but like we would try to like put them away whenever like patients would come through. But uh, even though uh, we put our pens like in our pockets, he just happened to have like his in his hand and one of the patients tried to snatch it from him. So, you know, that could be like a dangerous weapon. With So you don't want um, to like leave objects in like the, the vision, uh, vision cone of, you know, uh, patients because you just, you just never know. You don't never know what could happen. So. Rather be safe than sorry, so always be aware of your surroundings, try to keep things tucked, you know, your hair up, whatever it is that you have, like that could be, you know, a danger to you or, you know, the patients. So just definitely be aware of your surroundings, make sure you don't get like cornered and stuff like that. And also just uh, try to be aware of like how, you know, of how your patient is responding to different things, like, like you know, try to uh, communicate therapeutically and everything. And, you know, try to, uh, like even even your body language, you know, you don't want to uh, approach them in like a hostile manner or like you know be like all like you know like what you gonna do type. Of, you know you want to you want to be very relaxed, open posture, and you know just just make sure that your patient doesn't uh, perceive you as a threat because you don't want to be perceived as a threat because that's when like things could you know escalate. So you definitely want to just be relaxed, calm, open posture. T calm tone of voice and just go from there. This is probably like the biggest one that I can attest to is to definitely check, check, and recheck any and if, uh, like yourself. Like basically when it comes to anything that has to do with like your paperwork as far as like, uh, you know, getting your clinical rotations checked off or Whatever it is that you you feel like you need to be, you know, very careful about because um, there is chance for mishaps and mistakes to happen. So you don't want to take anybody else's word for it that um, something has been completed or done. You definitely want to go back and make sure like what, however many times that it takes to, for you to be comfortable that whatever it is is completed and that sh there is no like hiccups and uh and like say whatever it is that you need to be checked off whether that's like you know medication wasting you want to make sure you know or whatever or uh, you know just getting your clinical uh paperwork signed off on and that you're ready to go for you know your next rotation always be thorough the, the best thing to do is check it off yourself so you ain't got no worries about it because you'll be like you know uh, make sure you have like uh screenshots or pictures to you know have your uh, cover yourself because you know things happen. Things make people make mistakes, so you definitely want to have that info uh, at your at your ready to you know say, hey, I did have this or whatever it is. You know, like definitely want to have it. All right, that's pretty much it. Like I don't really got anything else uh, other advice that I can give at the moment. Nothing nothing major that I think would really benefit y'all that I haven't already said before. So if you want more advice, please go check out my nursing tips one video and also uh my nursing tips two video that are i'll put those links somewhere here right um but as far as me uh where have i been for the last four months uh you know nursing school as all, all of us probably are has been or i would say had been kicking my butt so that's why i hadn't uploaded uh i did however over spring break i was planning on dropping a cooking video uh, but all of my footage got corrupted so Aww. that's why i did not upload say cooking video it was going to be a jambalaya video i'll probably do another one of those when i get money because i'm broke i need money to uh get the groceries and stuff that i need for the video and so yeah i'm trying to get a job uh over the summer so that's another thing um, we've been working on, I had an interview with, uh, I plan on uploading 
uh, weekly for the rest of the summer. Like that is my ultimate goal. I want to have at least one video up every week for the remainder of the summer, okay? So if I do not complete my goal, I will do a punishment that I will probably upload at the end of every video um, as for me not uploading on time. That sound, that sound like a plan, that sound like a plan. Hopefully I'm not doing any punishments because I do plan on uploading it every week. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope y'all enjoy this video. Hope y'all leave a like, comment, subscribe, uh, comment any uh, other questions that y'all might want answered or just uh, any other uh, advice that y'all want to give out to other people probably watching this video. I think that'd be dope. Um, and that's really all I got. I'll y'all. Peace.